For years, sustainability has been top of mind for many Americans, especially millennials and Gen Zers. But as we see more of this, the environment and social justice have become even bigger priorities. Climate change is the existential crisis. I think we hear it a lot in um, different media outlets, but in the business world, it's going to affect everything. More than half of global consumers say environmental sustainability is more important now than just 12 months ago. And consumers aren't just thinking about it. They're shifting their behaviors. 49% say they're paying a premium on average 59% more to support sustainable brands and products. Every part of operations, the environment that we operate in, um, it's pretty hard to think of any part of a business that couldn't potentially be affected by climate change. That means it's no longer enough for business schools to just focus on maximizing profits. Future business leaders must know strategies to address environmental and societal concerns. So whether you're talking about Black Lives Matter or Me Too or the war in Ukraine, what are companies doing to respond to those issues? And when should a company say something or do something and when should they not? And how do they uh, kind of come up with that that kind of rubric to decide that. As businesses grapple with policies around sustainability, business schools are beefing up their curriculum to prepare students. Back in fall 2021, Carolyn Miles, the first female CEO of Save the Children, developed an overview course on sustainability for Darden Business School. So this was just a year ago in the summer. I really had a hard time finding cases on sustainability and looking at cases now. And if you look at the case studies that are out there, lots of them written in 21, written in 22. So really it is becoming a much bigger piece, I think, of, of the curriculum. In her course, students learn about the evolution of sustainability from the days of corporate social responsibility to the current ESG era. In the past, business schools prioritized shareholder theory, which says business leaders should only focus on maximizing shareholder value. And now at Darden and other business schools, this idea of stakeholder theory and stakeholder management and really understanding your stakeholders and how they affect your business. It's about the business and how each of those stakeholders affects the business. That is really much more the norm. And the expectation of the students is that that's how companies operate. And grasping this theory is key for all business students, even if they don't land a job with sustainability in the title. If I'm an operations person, I'm going to be held accountable for what's happening in my supply chain. And if I'm not understanding how sustainability affects my supply chain, then you know, it's going to be very difficult for me to do my job. Priya Prasad graduated from Columbia's Business School in 2022. Through the school's Tamer Center, she helped implement innovative solutions in real time. So my team worked with a local company based out of New York City who was designing sustainable office spaces. And we worked to essentially um, quantify their emissions footprint. She says the experience helped prepare her for her new position at the Department of Commerce, helping governments provide sustainable energy. Really excited to, to leverage what I've learned there and continue to learn um, in this new role. Darden and Columbia are working to add electives covering topics like climate finance and transitioning to net zero, while also infusing these principles in the core first year curriculum. Students are not only embracing these shifts, they want more of them. They want more courses. They want more experiential learning. They want to see more conferences on this topic. The class from last year, they want it to be very current. They want the latest that's happening in that field um, to be part of what they're learning. So um, it is a field that's changing really, really fast. Miles says everything is at stake, especially for vulnerable populations. You know, the poorest people in the world live in the most unsustainable environments a lot of times. So they live in places that are super susceptible to drought and floods and typhoons and all sorts of um, really uh, climate driven disasters. And they're also very socially excluded in a lot of um, in a lot of ways, particularly economically. You can't it's, it's part of your life, right, in, in all ways. Um, you know, we all live in the planet, we contribute in different ways, and we want to be, we want to leave the planet in a good way for future generations. So I think for me, it's just a way of living. And the fact that we need to move faster, right, we need to accelerate impact, because when you look at the latest um, on emissions data, it's kind of a dire emergency. Businesses and business schools have a really 
critical role in implementing and executing and thinking through new innovation and strategies. We're not going to get to reductions in targets without the business sector.